Everywhere I look, people are talking about China's past, the old stereotypes. But the truth is, China today is building some of the biggest, boldest and most expensive mega projects in human history. From a $170 billion dam in the deepest canyon on earth, to a brand new smart city designed like an iPhone, to rockets that will take astronauts to the moon by 2030. These aren't dreams, they're already under construction. So today, let's look at 10 insane mega projects that China is building right now, and more importantly, why they're building them, and how they will change life in China and the world. And of course, I put my favorite one last, so watch until the end. Let's dive in. Deep in Tibet, China has already started working on what could become the largest hydropower station on Earth, the Yarlong Tsangpo Mega Dam. Remember that name. This $170 billion project will generate more than three times the power of the Three Gorges Dam, producing enough clean electricity for hundreds of millions of homes. Why build it? Because China is on a mission to hit carbon neutrality by 2060. And this dam alone will cut massive amounts of coal usage and provide stable energy for things like electric cars, AI data centers, and smart cities. This isn't just an engineering challenge. It's about energy security for the future. Second, we got the Sichuan-Tibet Railway, the impossible train. This railway is a 1,011 kilometer track through some of the most dangerous terrains on Earth. Over 70% of the line is made of tunnels and bridges crossing earthquake zones and altitude above 3,000 meters. Why build something like this? Well, right now, traveling from Chengdu to Lhasa takes about two full days. With this project, it will take only 13 hours. Now for Tibet, this means a massive boost in tourism, trade and jobs. For China, it means easier transport of goods, food and even military supplies across the mountains. This isn't just a railway, it's a lifeline connecting one of the most remote regions in the world. Third, we get the south to north water diversion. This is moving rivers across a country. China's north is very dry, while the south is full of water. The solution? Build the largest water transfer project in history. This mega canal system is literally moving billions of cubic meters of water every year from the Yangtze River Basin in the south to the thirsty north, including Beijing. Why? Because without this, cities like Beijing could run out of water. Farmers wouldn't be able to irrigate crops. Factories would struggle to operate. This project secures drinking water for tens of millions of people, saves northern agriculture, and ensures that the industry keeps running. It's not just water, it's survival. Next, we got something so exciting, the Xiong'an New Area, a city built like an iPhone. Imagine building a city from scratch, not just any city, but one designed to be the city of the future. That's what China is doing with Xiong'an New Area. It's a smart, green, low-carbon city being built outside Beijing to take over some of the capital's non-core functions like universities, research centers, and state-owned companies. Why build something like this? Well, because Beijing is overcrowded, it's expensive, and still somewhat polluted. Now, Xiong'an is designed as a clean, car-light, AI-powered alternative. Think underground utility tunnels, sponge city flood systems, autonomous buses, and a digital twin city brain. This isn't just urban planning, it's a template for how cities around the world might look in 2050. Next, we got China's lunar program. 
humans back on the moon. China isn't just looking at Earth. In 2024, it became the first country ever to return samples from the far side of the moon. But that was just the beginning. By 2030, China plans to send astronauts to the lunar surface. And by mid-2030s, it wants to build a joint lunar base called the International Lunar Research Station. Why go above and beyond with something like this? Because the moon holds resources like helium-3, rare metals, and water ice that could fuel space exploration. It's also about prestige. Whoever controls the moon controls the future of space. Six on the list, we got the Hainan International Commercial Spaceport. Speaking of rockets and the moon, China is also building its first commercial spaceport on Hainan Island. What is that? Why? Well, because the space industry is no longer just about governments. It's now private companies are building satellites, constellations, and even lunar services. This new launch site allows higher frequency launches, bigger rockets, and a cheaper cost all powered by new commercial ecosystems. I know this is boring, but what this means is faster internet constellations, better earth monitoring, and more opportunities for private Chinese companies to go global. So this isn't just about launches, it's about owning the future of space commerce. We're getting exciting here, okay? Seventh is the high energy photon source. Hear this, it's called HEPs. It's a sun on earth for science. In Beijing, scientists are finishing one of the world's most advanced particle light machines, the high energy photon source. Listen what it does. It produces X-ray beams a trillion times brighter than the sun at the source, letting scientists see atoms and molecules in action. Why China? Why? Because this technology is key for breakthroughs in batteries, semiconductors, medicine, and superconductors. This will make China less dependent on foreign labs and more importantly, push the boundaries of global science. Everyone, if you've watched this far, you get the secret news. I put in an extra one as a thank you from me for watching this far. So enjoy 11 major projects. Let's keep going. So eighth on the list, we got the Huajang Canyon Bridge. Now this is a world record breaking suspension bridge across the Beipan River in Beijing province, 625 meters high. This height is equivalent to two Eiffel Towers, by the way, and it's nearly 2.9 kilometers long. Now this is cool because it dramatically shrinks a treacherous 70 minute canyon crossing down to just over one minute. This construction started back in 2022 and it's expected to be completed in September of 2025. The impact that this will have, a bold feed that connects isolated regions, boosts tourism, and transforms regional accessibility. Next, we got the Unicorn Island in Chengdu. Yeah, Unicorn Island. This is a zoned innovation campus designed by Zaha Hadid to attract unicorn startups. Spread over 67 hectares, it combines office, residential, and public spaces. Now, this futuristic architecture is around a central plaza. It's ultra walkable design inspired by ancient irrigation systems. Now, the first conference center building nearing completion since 2020, broader build out is still ongoing. The impact that this will have is a magnet for innovation and cutting edge businesses with designs that merge heritage and futurism. Tenth on the list, the world's longest underwater tunnel, the Dalian Yantai. This is a futuristic undersea tunnel spanning 122 kilometers under the Bohai Sea, longer than both the Channel and Seikan tunnels. Now this is mind-blowing because it passes through active fault zones and dramatically reduces drive time across the sea from eight hours to under two. 
This unlocks substantial economic synergy between the Northeast and East China, unmatched in scale and geological challenge. Everything is world's biggest, world's longest. Now for the most exciting one, fast telescope. 500 meter aperture spherical telescope. Now this is the largest single dish radio telescope on earth. 500 meters in diameter nestled in Guizhou. Now this is by far the coolest because it's incredibly sensitive. It's used for pulsars, fast radio bursts and alien hunting called a cosmic powerhouse. Now this has been built from 2011 to 2016 and the full operations began back in 2020. The impact that this will have is a global science asset that elevates China's status in astro Physics, alien hunting, I mean, are you serious? It's either ridiculous or probably the coolest thing you'll ever hear, right? But anyway, there you have it. The most insane mega projects that China is building right now. Some will power millions of homes, some will reshape cities, and some will take humans to the moon and beyond. So whether you admire them or fear them, one thing is clear. China isn't just catching up. It's building the future. So let me know, what do you think? Which of these projects impressed you the most? Which do you think is just absolutely ridiculous? Let me know your thoughts. And which one do you think that the world needs the most? Let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching everyone. Coolest video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.